What we have here is called a Basque cella parta. So it was used in the Pyrenees Mountains and in between the mountains. Um, if there was a birth, if there was a death, or just any type of message, um, they would set it up and they would play a certain groove and it would transfer to the other mountain. They would know what they were talking about. It kind of became a party instrument where then if there was a big Basque festival, they would, they would build these instruments and start playing them. The history of it was almost lost and there were these folklorists that found people playing these instruments and there was this kind of this rebirth. There, there's, a, there's an impact to this sound that you have that, that's unexplainable. Being half Basque, I thought even just selfishly, this is such a cool instrument, let's, let's build one. It was kind of a crash course in carpentry in many ways, and it sounded really cool. I researched a bit, and when I heard how it sounded, I thought this this will fill a dome, and it'll sound really cool. A very primal, powerful sound. It was really powerful, and it had a huge effect with the audience, especially when we went into it. People were like, "What's that?" So when it hit, and it was mic'd, and it was screaming loud, and it, and it was playing, and the whole audience just kind of froze and stopped. You know, the state of Idaho and the Treasure Valley in particular has one of the highest percentage rates of Basques outside of the Basque country. And to have that be related to the state of Idaho and the University of Idaho, it's, it's amazing. If you, if you start uncovering things, what you'll find. I think the strengths of the University of Idaho are both in its uh, arts and in its science. Here we have the chance to put them both together and both sides really benefit. I would like and we would like as a university to continue that, to have other schools on campus to become a part of it where we can showcase the work of their students because that's our job. Our job is to empower these students to create something so when they leave they can be successful in life. <laughs> No one else is really going to have students and professors create LED lights that can be triggered wirelessly. No one else is building a instrument out of trees from the local park. If no one else is going to do it, let's do it.